Uh, recently over on N1JR.com, I created two blog posts called Five Amateur Radio Apps for Your Smartphone, and it's been getting a lot of great interest. I figured the next best thing is, well, let's put a video together. So I've combined both of those posts and put them into a video here for you. So let's get into it. So the first app we're going to get into is called Zulu Time. This app is a great app that provides really just, you know, the current UTC time to you. It's geared off of your current local time on your smartphone, uh, and it's very, very basic. But don't let that fool you because the basic functionality is so much more, especially when you're out in the field activating or you know, you're in a field day instance and you need that information for a log entry. When it comes to engaging my brain to figure out how to calculate UTC time from the current time I'm in. I know there's a formula and it's pretty easy to catch in, but a lot of times when I'm out in the field, I'm gonna wanna get the right uh, time pretty quickly. And so this is way easier for me. Hop over the app, I can drag the slider uh, a little bit forward and it can give me the time, you know, three to five hours ahead if I wanted to. So benefits that is say you're activating your park and you're just on that line of whether the park is uh, going to roll into uh, night shift this app will tell you exactly when that's going to happen and you can kind of gauge your activation how you want to based off of you know that information the app itself has a lot of uh, features like you know you could switch it to military time you could change the UTC date format from local to uh, terminal Air Force. And then my favorite, the widget itself, I can throw on my dashboard a simple UTC uh, widget and it will pull that time automatically. This is a great little app uh, over in the App Store. All right, this second app is Easy QTH Locator. There's really not a whole lot to this app, but it is really, really great when you're trying to use uh, or gather the information uh, you need when you're out in the field. It's tied into your location services on your phone. So again, it's only really dependent on whether or not you have a cell phone connection. It gives you all of the information you might need. Local time, your UTC time, you can you know set it to military or 12 hour version. The one feature I use it a lot is the lat lawn, both in the actual degrees and in the decimal coordinates. So you can do either or if you're entering that stuff in your log for say LOTW, the grid square. You know, if you're hunting and uh, or you are um, being hunted and one of those hunters asks you for the grid square, you can now just pull this app up really quickly even before you start the uh, activation and get your six digit grid square right then and there. Uh, which is a great feature. And so with that, I'd say, what more do you need when you can have it all right there? All right, the next app is a app you have gotta download for your computer. I don't remember exactly whether this is a paid app or not, but if it is, it's well worth the investment. Uh, if you are one of those guys like myself that you uh, travel a lot, either in the you know, localized area or beyond uh, your home QTH, you'll probably find that it's pretty hard to find repeaters unless you throw a scan on your mobile rig and hope you pick up uh, more stations and conversations than you know static in the background. I find that my mobile rig is not one of those rigs that has the capability to be able to you know, find repeaters on a, a quick scan or a smart scan and then gather the PLs and everything. So I've got to have an alternative to that and this is an app for it. So when you pull up a repeater book, uh, it's going to give you, uh, based off of some of the settings you do uh, when you configure it the first time, and we'll go into those in a second, it's going to give you everything based off your current location that it detects on GPS. All of the repeaters that are in the area based off of, uh, again, your settings. So if you set your mileage, uh, your, your miles out to 50 and, you know, the types of repeaters and stuff like that, this will provide that in a very simple, easy display and you can drill into any one of those quick and easy and get the offsets, the PLs, whether the repeater's a fusion or an FM only or analog or has echo link tied to it. Great little app. The other thing I love about the app is that if you go into the settings, you can easily pull up, you know, uh, you know, tweak the theme, you can tweak your grid location, you can go into your filters. And this is where the power of this app is well worth the money. 
is that, like I said, you can set the distance and the range of how far you want it to go. You can uh, sort by, you know, frequency and a number of different things or distance by default. You can select what repeaters you're looking for based off of obviously what bands, you know, interest you and, and uh, are your favorites. So I can select, you know, I want two meters in 440. I can go down to the services and select that I want to see fusion repeaters or I want to see uh, repeaters with echo link or wires X. Then once you click filter, you can just drag down from the top here and it'll go out and it'll find all of those repeaters based off of your filter criteria and you can connect to them or try to set those up on your repeater. Now, the only problem I have is if you can't remember how to program your radio and save those to memories, well, you might want to dig out that manual again. All right, this next app is a great app for the money. Uh, this is called Ham Ant Cal, um, and I this app is a great addition uh, on the premise that if you're like me and math is not a strong suit, then this tool makes uh, building antennas, whether you're out in the field or even at home, and this tool will provide the information you need very quickly, do all the calculations, um, and they do it uh, across the board, both for you know, a you know, wire antenna or a vertical, and all you do is just plug in your frequencies, click calculate whether you're gonna do it um, in metric or uh, regular uh, inches, you will get all of the values you need right out of the box. You know, it, it literally takes the guesswork out of this application. So in my mind, well worth the money and well worth the investment. All right, the fourth app that I have in my list of the top five apps is Whisper Watch. This app is an app that almost I think deserves its own video primarily because there's a lot of features in here that I could go into very much, uh, you know, a lot of depth. But uh, if you guys want to see more on a specific uh, video of this, you know, leave a uh, comment in the description below. This uh, app, you can do searches against existing whisper tests you've done in real time. And, and it actually interfaces, as long as you have a cell phone connection, interfaces with directly so when you go to their website you're literally the app is literally doing it in the background so if you uh, say you're out in the field as an example and you're testing out a new antenna and you've got you know whisper set up on a laptop and you're running tests back and forth and you see a result well this tool real time while that that's running you can pull up a by call sign by grid square everything you normally do in the whisper app uh, or the whisper website you can do in this app um, again, more charts here so you can uh, analyze, you know, your overall connection by distance. And this app also has a great feature, which is well uh, worth doing a deep dive on if you haven't done this before. If you don't have your, say, laptop on the field with uh, WSJTX and Whisper running, this app can actually simulate uh, a Whisper test right from the phone, just right off of your uh, transmit uh, mic. You just go into the app and uh, with a couple of clicks, you can easily send the tones from the phone just by holding it right by the speaker and get uh, almost instant results back from the app as to how and how far you were uh, heard and who heard you and, and so forth and so on. So this app is great if you're looking for a field app that's going to give you good results, especially if you do a lot of antenna testing and you're trying to figure out what antenna does well in different uh, scenarios. Uh, this is a good tool to be able to do that with. So if you haven't downloaded Whisper uh, Watch, it's got to be have uh, at the ready. All right, these last two apps kind of are tied for each other because one I've done a video uh, on uh, one of them and the other app, uh, there are plenty of videos out there related to APRS um, and its functionality. Um, but let me touch on those real quick. APRS.fi, uh, if you haven't done uh, this on your phone already, my advice is, is pull up a browser on your smartphone, go up to APRS.fi and bookmark it and turn it into a small little app on your phone just for the capabilities of being able to use it for tracking, for analysis. Uh, so if you haven't done APRS.fi as a, uh, an applet or a web app on your phone, you need to go do that. Uh, my last app is HamAlert. And now, so with HamAlert, if you haven't installed, this is one app you wanna make sure you get on your phone and start using the app to be able to create spots um, and uh, triggers. Plenty of other videos on my channel that I can recommend if you're uh, looking to set up uh, HamAlert, but if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and download that now and get that on your phone.
those are my top five favorite amateur radio apps. If you've got an app I haven't uh, reviewed, um, then please make sure you share it and leave it in the comments below. Thanks again for watching and make sure you like, subscribe and share. And if you like this or any of my other content, uh, as always, thanks for watching and 1JU Amateur Radio.